This would be a quick demonstration of how to use the Gantt component. So the Gantt component, when you drop it on a page, you'll get a little quick start that allows you to bind it to data. And we'll add it to a tasks business object that we have. What you need is you need a start date. So we actually have a field called start date. You need an end date, which we also have. And you need to decide what you want to show on the label. Okay. The other thing that you have here is, of course, the ID of the item that you're showing here in the collection. And you also can configure the start and end date of your gun. So for example, if I know I don't have things uh, before, let's say June, I can scroll around and say, okay, I'm starting here. All right. So let's click next and finish. And that would show us a Gantt with our project plan. And we have specific tasks and things we want to do. Now, one of the things you can also do with the Gantt is you can enable um, selecting of items on it. So what we're going to do is on the Gantt chart, we have events. We're going to create a new event. Um, and one of the events we can find here is the selection event. Okay. And we're going to create a new action chain. We can call this one, uh, this is the name, that's fine. We can now bring in um, an assign variable, for example, and pick up the selection, okay, and assign it to a variable. So let's um, create a variable, we call it selected task, okay, um, and we can then map the selection over here. So now that the selection can be an array, and that's because if you look at the properties of the Gantt, we'll go back to the Gantt over here, um, and you look up uh, the property here for selection, okay, you can see there's a selection mode and it can be multiple. Let's set it to single so we can select one task at a time. All right, so now when we select this, we're going to set the value of the variable. And um, if we want to use it, we can use it, for example, um, with a dynamic form. So let's put a dynamic form just below here. And we'll configure a detail form over here, mapping to the task. And we're going to show, let's say, the title, the cost, start date, end date. Okay. Um, like that. All right. And then we need to set the task ID, which would be the selected task. So we just map this one and we do finish. All right. So now let's see our page in action. We can click on paint the house and we get the information about painting the house on the coast. We can click on install new door and we get information about that. So that's how easy it is to add Gantt charts into your application to visualize time-related aspects of your data.